the voting has started. Just want to get your thoughts mm -hmm. uh, today. You, you see quite a large turnout. Um, normally that, that signals either somebody looking to vote out somebody or people t turn out in overwhelming support. To well, you know the vote is never finished until the final vote is counted. Mm -hmm. And you're well aware that all that matters in an election is the vote. I've done a lot of mobilizing. I'm seeing a lot of people here who've come out to support myself and I want to say that at the end of this period that is one Democratic Labour Party and I've already indicated and hinted at the earlier meeting that I want to ensure that the former presidents are invited to sit at the table of the council. There's no provision for that yet. But I want to implore the council and suggest to them that we engage all the competencies in the party. I think one of the shortcomings of any organization, especially political party, is the lack of engagement. And I've found that over the last couple of years, something has been missing, engagement. And I want to assure the public of Barbados that once elected as president of this party, that we intend to engage Barbados. We have been... Barbados supported us in 2018. And now we need to mend fences with the voter. And as I said, part of many fences is going out, talking, meeting, shaking hands. If the Barbados Labour Party rub shoulders, then we need to not help us. There needs to be a mechanism that allows us with all the COVID protocols in place to assist. I've indicated that I have three pillars that I want to move the party forward on. Engagement, mobilization, and electoral. So for us, it means that what we will be doing is looking at those three areas and each area will have a specific strategy that we will be engaging in terms of making sure that the party re-emerges. Mm. My campaign had a theme which is a theme that we want to take nationally. Everyone has value. Everyone has value has guided my philosophy coming into this presidential election. And I believe too many people have been excluded. Uh, for the cries of former members of parliament, former ministers, or believing or crying or even some even whispering that they don't feel welcome. And I want to make it abundantly clear that the party I joined is the party that welcomed every single barbie. That's how we won elections. And in order to win the next election, we will need the talents of every single member of this party. So I'm saying to all members of the party and all supporters, that they need to report for duty mm. to this party. This party needs all of its members. And we can't win the election with only members. Eh? We need supporters. And we need to win hearts and minds of Labour Party members and supporters. Mm. They won the hearts and minds of our people in 2018, and so they were successful. We think we have a better alternative to offer in terms of solutions, recommendations. We spoke to some of those last weekend, and I intend to elaborate on them. I said that we want to launch a national citizenship participation program. We also want to do a listening tour. That listening tour is going to take us around Barbados. I'm not going to say much about that now, but the plans for that tour, along with the participation program, is right. well structured and well ordered. Okay. Now, um, this is a question to both of you. Um, the, the, pun, the, not the pundits, the, the detractors are, are, are saying that basically in 2018, the country spoke. I did. And um, you, you, had, you were not um, like actively involved in the last two years, at least not visibly. Um, why now? Why, why, why is George Pilgrim, why is Mr. Jones? Um, I think, still there, I, I think what you are experiencing is a narrative from the opponents. Participation in a political party is not restricted only by being visible or sitting in a chair. I think that we have evolved over the last three, four, five years. We saw in the last election the power of social media. We are being told now in Barbados that the opportunity to live and work remotely is real. So political parties have to accept that participation is not defined by your physical presence. I never resigned my remit to the party. I've been to the party since 1994. I can't tell you that I've ever missed an annual conference since 1994. 
and to criminalize me for saying that I missed an conference two years in a row would give the impression that qualification for membership or participation or the notion of being able to, to run for office again means that you must be present annually. Mm. But if that was the case, it means that people who are members and don't come should also feel our welcome. It also means that people who are supporters that don't come would also feel unwelcome. If we are to harvest the best competencies in this country or this party, it means there can't be any rules that detract from encouraging people to participate. Okay. That cannot be a mechanism for the way forward. Mr. Jones? Uh, yeah. so let me say, I mean, that wouldn't relate to me because I would be an actor. And, and that doesn't necessarily mean on the executive. Okay. I, I, I spoke at several meetings across Barbados. I spoke in St. Philip North, St. Philip uh, South, Christchurch, Christchurch meetings. I spoke at branch meetings. Oh, that's the party. I contributed financially to the party. Any time that I'm called upon to so do, 